Ahoy, mateys! Would you dare coming on board? Hello, this is Clementine from Visions of Atlantis. Welcome on board our ship. We're currently sailing the beautiful waters of North America together with our label buddies from Delane. And a little later, we're gonna go south and reach Mexico and all the beautiful countries of South America. You can check our latest release, our beautiful Pirates Over Bakken. And soon, there will be another beautiful booty for you guys, still connected to the Pirates era, but I can't say too much at the moment. All right, let's go. Come check it out. All right, it's time for you to meet our fellow comrades. Here is Michele Guaicoli. Hello, hello. Singer and songwriter of Visions of Atlantis. And here is our very lovely, wonderful bass player. Greetings. Have it close. He's always the one trying the whiskey before us. You know, we need to know if it's not poisoned by any other uh, enemies, like giving it, gifting it to us as a pretext. And then, you know, we are very used to treason over here. So he will die first, basically. Yes, but you know, he's a bass player, so. <laughs> That's what they think. So this is basically our deck, where we spend the more time on our ship reading reading pirate books, of course, drinking. Uh, there is this technology we don't really know, and actually, that's true, the in this store, we never turn it on. It's a very dark mirror, I think. Yeah? Yeah. But I'm not sure. It's probably obsidian glass or something that we stole at, in at some harbor. At night, it Maybe, shows yeah. the sky and the stars so that we can navigate. You know, otherwise, <laughs> we'd be lost at sea completely. We don't really use it much. Uh, this is also where we store our drinks beneath our base player. Um, this is not exactly where we store the most important things because this is the area where, you know, everyone, even our slaves and servants lie. So this is not where we keep the good loot. The good loot, maybe she will show it to you. The main part of our booty is lying in this very chest over here. You know, it's a very delicate good and we have to make sure it's preserved in the right way. Sometimes we found it at the bottom of the ocean, you know, when we sink a ship and we open his own chest that is like rottening under the sea, we find those, those very delicate liquids. So they need to stick into the fridge, you know, this kind of delicious rum needs to stay in the fridge. So. Not only here, but mainly here is where we keep our snacks. Uh, to be fair and square, I will take the chance to say thanks to the people who gifted us with this, uh, with this uh, yeah, amazing uh, food that we have here. Because most of what you see, we didn't really purchase, but it was gifted by some amazing fans. Uh, we have vegan chocolate. You know, Clemmy is vegan. She really cares about her diet, so having vegan snacks is something that is extremely rare to find and these were gifted uh, we have vegan chips somewhere I'm not gonna scroll ev everywhere because I don't really know where everything is stored from uh, each personal member but we have vegan chips we have vegan chocolate we have vegan snacks of various type and we are extremely thankful to all the fellows that uh, gifted the, the pirates with this amazing stuff uh, we love beef jerky we really love beef jerky um, there are even vegan and normal uh, uh, candies here. Mm, what else? Uh, I love American cookies. I'm addicted to American cookies. This is something you don't find that accurately in Europe. We have like clones of this stuff, but here in, in, in the US they have such a unique and special taste. Uh, what else can I say? Um, we are really balanced in between like sweet, uh, like sweet, I would say with sweet teeth and uh, salty lovers so we try to keep it balanced but there is one thing that I want to add up this box we stole from Camelot they were here in the previous in the previous trip they had this bus before us and they gifted us with uh, this entire box of snacks so I mean not the top but all the bottom so thanks to Camelot so here we have other delicacies from um, exotic islands um, this one is called from grape, I think. And then more exotic, all this very um, boomerang yellow, whatever. It's very sweet, it's very good, you should try. Uh, I've heard people from these local 
tribes calling it banana. So maybe it's a thing. Maybe it's gonna be a thing. Maybe we're gonna return this to Europea with this, and maybe we're gonna get the rich pirates. The rich pirates. The car business of bananas you should try. And some different sauces because we also have like our own um, medicine doctor with us that can creates all these potions for us to stay healthy on tour and on and during those journeys you know it's very fundamental to to, to stay healthy so you know um, this is absolutely uh, absolutely necessary to have on board um, and you can add you can have that add a little bit of honey in and it's it's gonna be absolutely absolutely delicious um, America has um, its own way of making food right and we love it we get a little hunger and we need to have something to eat. There is another secret on this, on this wonderful ship. If you want to take a look closer at this secret drawer, we have this beautiful stove and we can cook amazing rat food and whatever gulls or calamaris that we find in the sea while hunting for our food or should I say fishing actually which is not very vegan, but you understand this is a joke. Out of there, there was um, very nice technological machines that enable us to create some very nice beverages uh, based on some seeds that we also found over there. Um, some like to put sugar and milk in there too, which I think is absolutely hideous because if you want to respect the seed, you don't put anything else into, I see this, we have an Italian pirate on board. That is not coffee. I love it, but it's not coffee. It's a tea that tastes like coffee. It's tea coffee. It's tea coffee. Coffee tea. Coffee tea. Sorry. <laughs> coffee tea. Still, no sugar and milk. If you are, if you call yourself a coffee lover, all right. And of course, a little, a little tiny uh, water warmer that is very good for decoction whenever one of us feels the flu or else, because you cannot afford to be sick on board. Then we have our toilet. Please be a professional and don't shit on the bus, man. Then we have the shower. Please be a professional pirate. Don't drink and don't shower. Uh, sorry, drink and shower. No, drink and don't shower. That's the way. These are our cabins. This is where we spend the night. Unless the ghosts come and wake us up during the night fight in this case but here we have three and three and three more and three more for a total of 12 cabins for our marvelous crew and us like this one <sighs> Jesus please be a professional pirate don't sleep that door cannot be open this is where we keep the prisoners I'm sorry this is an extremely dangerous area of the bus that cannot be touched. And if you want to see the inside of our cabins, this is how it looks like. It's decent, dark. This darkness really helps with the sleep, by the way. Yeah. You with have your own your lights. lantern. This, again, I don't really understand what it is. It's a technology that I'm not used to, but seems to be useful to bring this magic thing that brings light and energy and something else and they're all the same it's just wonderful all right people you've seen our secrets you've seen our dark universe and you've been able to be the very privileged ones to see inside our ship now we'll ask you to leave kindly but before that maybe you want to have a little sneak peek into our all our social media to get sure you do not miss the next adventures that will take you with us in other continents in other places we also have as i mentioned earlier a beautiful live album pirates of Vakken, already available on all platforms and also in physical edition if this is your favorite way of listening to music we'll have new stuff coming up as well but we can't reveal it right now and for the next then we wish you good luck on all these wild seas over there and see you next time